Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. This is your girl Nikki, and today I'll be talking about auscultation of heart sounds or auscultation of the heart. So when we talk about auscultation, we're basically talking about the sounds the heart makes when it's beating, basically. So we can auscultate the heart by listening with a stethoscope or so on to see the different sounds and to just judge if the heart sound is normal or irregular. So let me let you guys hear the normal heart sound. So the normal heart sound sounds a bit like this. Here the normal heart zone. So I'm just going to give you guys the heart zone of somebody or a student that was racing. So basically, this is how your heart zones after exercising or hard physical activities. So you can basically hear a different beat. So one is faster than one. That one is faster than the normal heart zone. So how do we get heart zones? So your examiner or your doctor just basically use a stethoscope to listen for different areas to find out if it's working properly or if it if it sounds like the normal heart should sound. So first let me not assume that you guys know the different structures. So let's just label different structures here. So this is your clavicle or your collarbone. This is your sternum. This thing like a sword in the center is your sternum. This is the manubrium of your sternum. This is the ziphoid process of your sternum. These are your rib cages. And in your rib cages, you see spaces. So we call these spaces intercostal space. So as you can see, the aortic valve is the only one on this side. So the aortic valve area, you auscultate your aortic valve on your right. So every time you see your doctor put their stethoscope on your right, they're trying to auscultate the aortic valve. This is the only one on your right. So this is basically, look, one, two. So it's in the second intercostal space. So remember, your aortic valve is the only one on your right, and it's in the second right intercostal space, and it's basically right of your sternal border. So it's basically right of your sternum. You can see that there. So we're finished with that. The next one now is this one your pulmonary valve. So you notice that your aortic valve and your pulmonary valve are basically in the same line, but they're on opposite sides. So the aortic valve is on your right, the pulmonary valve is on your left. So as you can see here, first intercostal space, second intercostal space. The pulmonary valve in the second intercostal space on your left, left of the sternal border, left, second intercostal space. So they can trick you with this because both of them are in the second intercostal space. One is on the right, one is on the left. Just know that your aortic valve is always on the right and the pulmonary one is on the left. So we just go down to another one. We're going to go to the tricuspid valve. So when we see when we hear tricuspid, we know that it has three leaflets. So you have three leaflets to just keep the heart, that valve there closed. So it's like three things coming together. So here is a tricuspid valve auscultation area. So it's basically the fifth intercostal space. And sometimes they say they can hear it in the fourth intercostal space sometimes so it's either between four and fifth but most of the times you can hear it closer to the fifth left of the sternal border right and the next one is the mitral valve and the mitral valve is what we call the apex beat so this is where the apex of the heart is so when we say apex we're talking about the tip of the heart that looks like this like the bottom part of the heart, the little fine bottom part is the apex. So we call the mitral valve auscultation the apex beat. So where can we find this? We find it in the fifth intercostal space. And look, 
its left of the mid clavicular line remember i told you that this is the clavicle so to find your apex beat or the apex weeks of your heart is a very important auscultation point you come down on your left clavicle into the fifth intercostal space and you find the apex beat of your heart so let's just run them over again and they're pretty simple once you understand what auscultation is so just for a review i said this is your clavicles your sternum manubrium of your sternum and this is the forward process of your sternum these are your rib cages and the spaces between them are your intercostal spaces so to auscultate the heart is basically listening the heart sounds when the these valves shut so that's what you're listening for to know if it's a normal beat or if it's a irregular or fast beat or even a slower one as well so to auscultate the aortic valve we go to your right it's the only one on your right and it's in the second intercostal space right of the sternal border to auscultate your pulmonary valve we go across to the left second intercostal space left of the sternal border to auscultate your tricuspid valve we go between the fourth and fifth intercostal space on your left and to auscultate your apex beat we go over in the mid clavicular line middle of your clavicles come down to your fifth intercostal space on your left because the heart is more positioned to your left so you'd expect the apex beat to be on your left so one last time so a p T M and that's it for your auscultation points until next